Faith and Wonder came about it. Um, it was one of the last to scoot in um, because we were in Dallas uh, in June. Jacob and I, we were visiting family. And um, Jonathan hooked us up with some people from Upper Room that we'd never met before, but uh, very like-minded. And so we got in a room with these two young people, Abby and Cody, that you hear on the recording. And uh, we never met them before, but just hit it off immediately. And um, it was so sweet. Like, I even fe I felt like afterwards, it just, I, I was just thanking the Lord for not only a chance to write songs, but to also write songs with people who maybe nobody's ever heard of before, who are, um, who love the Lord, who are writing songs not because they, necessarily want it to be their profession, but they really just want to operate out of their gifting and offer these songs to God as worship. And that's who Abby and Cody are. And so just getting in a room with them, I saw myself at, at like a younger version of me, like even in Abby and um, getting to pour into them and love on them and just hear what God is doing in them and through them was just so amazing. And I feel like the song came so easily and naturally and um, originally I, I made Abby sing the demo cause we were in the room and I kept pushing her to sing it cause I love her voice so much and never really, it wasn't even necessarily on my radar for my project cause I know that they were always writing for their stuff. So I just thought this is an upper room song. It's going to be great. Abby's going to kill this, you know? Um, and she sang on the original demo, but the more that I lived with it and, the, and I passed it on to my team, we were like, something special about this song, There's something on it. And it was kind of undeniable that we wanted to record it. So I just thought, well, why don't we have a little bit of both and have Abby come sing on the first verse and first chorus. And um, and so that's what we did. And uh, the song is, it's very simple. And yet I think it says some very profound things. Um, even I think about the line in the second verse that says, um, this name that storms the gates of hell, the only name, the only word my life will live to tell. And uh, that just fires me up. And I want to live my life th in a way that um, that displays the name and the power of Jesus. And I want to live my life in a way um, where I, I'm operating from a place of faith and wonder. I'm walking by faith where my eyes are on Jesus and I go, oh, I don't know what's coming next, but I know you've got me. And a place of wonder where I go, I can look back and see all the things that you've done and stand in awe of who you are. And I think songs like that just call us to a higher place of worship where um, we just go, yeah, God, I remember what you've done and I'm expectant and grateful and hopeful for what you're going to continue to do.